Welcome back to the channel and as you can see we have one of the most beautiful shaders in Minecraft 1.20.3 and in this video I'm going to teach you how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.20.3 in one of the most simple ways I know of. So just make sure you watch this video until the end and let's get started. And step number one to getting some shaders in Minecraft 1.20.3 is going to be downloading some type of shaders loader. In this case we're going to be using Iris. Sometimes we use Optifine but Optifine hasn't been updated for a while now. There is not even Optifine 1.20.2 out yet so let along 1.20.3. So what you're gonna do is click the second link in the description which will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install Iris. Of course feel free to look at the photos and read through the guide but if you just want to follow along go ahead and click where it says download Iris here. That is going to redirect you to the Iris official website where you're gonna click download now. That is going to redirect you over here and then go ahead and click download universal jar. That is going to start the download for the Iris installer. In my case, it's asking me where to save the file because that's how I have it set up. But for you, it's probably just going to download automatically. Once you have the file, if you don't know where it is, you could probably find it here in the top right if you're using the newest update of Chrome. If not, you could probably find it in your downloads folder. Once you find the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now that you have the Iris installer, we're going to need some shaders, right? If you're trying to run shaders, so you might as well download some nice shaders. In this case, we're going to download complementary reimagining, which are the shaders that you saw in the intro of this video, and they honestly look amazing. So go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download and install complementary. Same thing, if you want to follow along through the guide, go ahead and read through it. But if you just want to follow along in the video, go ahead and click where it says download. That is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click on files, right? Right next to the description, you click on files and you look for the version that suits you the best. In this case, we're looking for 1.20.3. But as you can see, there's no 1.20.3 right now. So what do you do? Is, is this a fake video? Is this not working? Well, actually, you could download 1.20.2 and it will still work with 1.20.3 of Minecraft. So just go ahead and click on the little three dots for 1.20.2 as of now. Of course, in the future, if you see 1.20.3 here, download that one. But as of now, you could just download file for 1.20.2. The download will start after five seconds in here. Probably going to download to your downloads folder like this. In my case, always ask me where to save it. But for you, it's going to download to your downloads folder. Once you have the file, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. Now we have a zip file, which you don't have to worry about the zip file being a zip file. You could leave it as it is. Do not extract the content. Just leave it as a zip file. And then we also have the iris installer, which is a jar file, as you can see. Here. Now the next step will be to actually install Iris. But before we double click on Iris, I have to let you know that if you have any issues trying to open this file, that might be because you have an outdated version of Java. And I'm going to leave in the description a guide on how to download and install Java 17, which is the Java that you need to install these type of files. This guide is pretty in depth and it's gonna teach you everything you need to know to make this file work. That is for like 5% of you. I'm pretty sure all of you are gonna get this file working, but maybe a small percentage of you doesn't. And I'm gonna leave a guide on the description on how to download and install Java. And I'm also going to leave you a guide for installing and running a jar fix. Running a jar fix, it's a super simple process. And you do this after installing Java to update any jar files in your computer, like the Iris installer, to be linked to the newest Java. I hope that wasn't too confusing. And now let's keep going with the tutorial by double clicking the Iris installer. So once the Iris installer is open, you're gonna select 1.20.3. Just go ahead and click where it says install and give it a second. Once it says completed down here, that means that the Iris installer has finished. You could go ahead and close the installer and you could even delete the installer file. Now it's time to add the shaders into the game. And how do you do that? Well, first thing you wanna do is launch the Minecraft launcher. And now that the Minecraft launcher has opened, as you can see, we have Iris and Sodium 1.20.3 in here. Like I said, mine says preview, but by the time I upload this video, the whole thing will be out. So you'll be able to install the actual Iris and Sodium 1.20.3. No preview, just the whole thing, okay? So don't worry, I'm gonna make sure that Iris is updated by the time I post this video. Anyways, once you have that in here, it's time to open the shaders. All you have to do is click in play so the game opens. And while the game is loading in the background, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you wanna create a Minecraft server where you can play with your friends 24 seven because this server is run online, just use the first link in the description and here it is, you will get 25% off your first server. So if you have been waiting to create a server to play with your friends and you'll be looking for the signal, this is it. Use the first link in the description, get 25% off with Apex Hosting and let's get back into the tutorial. And now that the game has opened, we will know that we install Iris properly because it will say down here modded. As you can see, if it says modded down here, that means that we install Iris properly. Just make sure that you had closed Minecraft and the launcher when you were installing Iris, okay? Just make sure that you did that and that you have your Java updated. Anyways, once your game has opened, just go ahead and launch your world so I could show 
you how to add the shaders. And how do you add the shaders? Well, first of all, you wanna press escape and you wanna head over to options. Once you're in the options menu, you wanna click where it says video settings and then head over to where it says shader packs. By the way, you can see that this whole menu has changed. That is because of Iris. Go ahead and click where it says shader packs. And in here, as you can see, we have an empty folder. We don't have any shaders in here. Go ahead and click where it says open shader pack folder. That is going to open this folder app and you're just gonna drag and drop this complementary file into there. And now that we have this zip file in here, do not extract it. Just go ahead and close this folder and you will see complementary appear in the game. I can make this bigger now. Go ahead and select complementary. Click apply, give it a second to load. It could take a whole minute. It could take 10 seconds. It depends on your computer, but it should usually load pretty fast. Also, if you're trying to load shaders in a multiplayer world and you might be struggling, maybe you need to do a server. If you need to do a server, use the first link in the description for 25% off. Now we have the shaders in, go ahead and click done, 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 back to the game. And as you can see, we have some beautiful shaders. I will always say this, Iris shaders are one of the most beautiful shaders that have ever been made for Minecraft. So yeah, this is pretty much it. If you wanna disable the shaders, just press the letter K on your keyboard. This is a pretty useful feature. I use this a bunch when I'm playing because sometimes I just build without shaders. And if I wanna see my build with shaders, just press K and the shaders load in. And that's pretty much it for today's guys. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.